Hello and welcome to another one of our videos where today we are excited because today we will be presenting to you our Senatron vacuum bubble leak testing system. And this is a complete ready to go system. It's fully assembled. All you have to do is, um, you know, plug it in, plug the vacuum pump in and add water to your, uh, you know, bubble leak testing tank. So um, this system is used to perform leak testing, uh, quality testing, and also heat seal integrity testing on pouches, stick packs, anything that's heat sealed, heat sealed trays, cartons, tetra packs, um, bottles, anything that um, you can think of that has air in it and that can create a pressure differential and uh, cause bubble emissions. Uh, and that also includes um, let's see, bottles, what else we have, Tetra Pak, yeah, I think we've pretty much covered it all. So anything that is that is heat sealed. All right, um, let's uh, start talking about our system because this is, like I said, a fully assembled and ready to go system. And the system consists of a, a vacuum chamber, a vacuum pump, and it is a full uh, structure. And this one particular unit is a tabletop unit. It is intended to be placed on a tabletop and it is about uh, chest high. The, the vacuum chamber is chest high where you can take a look and look for bubbles and bubble emissions. So um, as with all of our vacuum chambers, acrylic vacuum chambers, they come as a standard with uh, a venting valve, a vacuum valve. And this one in particular has a, a vacuum adjustment valve this guy you turn uh you know back and forth to actually adjust your vacuum uh you can set it let's say to 15 inches of mercury and then you set it and forget it and the next time you pull a vacuum it's going to pull to 15 inches of mercury you don't have to watch the vacuum here and then you know open or close it you just set it and forget it and then of course as a standard uh, it also comes with a dial vacuum gauge dual scale inches of mercury and kilopascals Furthermore, as we move forward, it comes with two clamps. This lid comes with two clamps. Uh, we like to have clamps. Uh, reason being is that we don't want you to be leaning onto the lid. You'll notice there's other uh, bubble leak testers out there that um, they, they don't have these clamps. And so you have to lean onto this lid, kind of hold it and close it and uh, for, for it to create vacuum. And so we, we didn't want to do that. So we are uh, giving you guys two clamps, of course, a handle. And then on this side, let me take a show you. Um, so we have a, um, a gas spring and this gas spring will keep the lid open so that you can load your testing chamber with your test specimen. And then here we have a venting valve. And so this venting valve, uh, I'm sorry, it's not a venting valve. It is a draining valve. This is a drain valve. So this valve will drain your water that you fill in into this chamber. Um, when, when you're done with it, you can just drain it. Um, furthermore, this particular system comes with a rotary vane vacuum pump, and it is rated to about 15 micron. So not only can you use this system for, uh, you know, submersion bubble uh, leak testing, this system can also be used as a vacuum package testing system, uh, meaning that you can run it dry. So this is a wet and dry system. Um, all right, moving on. Our rotary vane pump comes with a uh, oil mist eliminator or exhaust filter. It comes as a standard, so you don't have to uh, buy anything extra. So like we said, this is a fully assembled and ready to go system and it will keep um, the exhaust eliminated uh, uh, up to 99.98%. And then here's another cool feature that we have that is not very, very uh, standard. And that is a vacuum pump water protection valve. It also comes as a standard on all of our systems. Meaning if you ever happen to overflow and overload uh, this water tank and then when you pull a vacuum and your specimen will expand it will start pushing water from this tank into this vacuum line and what will happen is that it will pull water into your vacuum pump and in order to prevent this um, we have essentially just added 
a vacuum pump protection valve where this ping pong ball will float and it will close this valve when it um, fills up with water and therefore it will prevent the vacuum pump from ever getting water into it so, so you will never damage your vacuum pump or the risk of damaging your vacuum pump is eliminated um, and then of course our system comes with a user manual um, of course you can just go to this link and you can find a full user manual with a training video uh, that will show you how to perform a vacuum leak test how to um, you know what the principles are and how to properly care for this chamber it's a video and also a pdf file that you're free to download um, there's there's no charge to that uh, that's also what we offer and then let me open up uh, this lid and let me show you what else we have this is a a we call it a package restraining mesh and what this mesh does is it keeps the your specimen submersed under water uh, so if if you ever pull a vacuum on, on a pouch or something that has air in it it will expand and it will start floating upwards to the water surface and uh, what this does it prevents it from floating upwards by keeping it essentially submerged so it, it restrains it um, now of course this mesh is removable and uh, you can kind of see here you can remove it and it's also adjustable so you can adjust it and add longer spacers or shorter spacers um, this is all uh, you you do have that option and then um, let me also show you how quickly and how simple this is to use so you essentially just close the door now you would have water in here and you would have your specimen in here and there's some videos where we show water and specimen and you know some bubble leak testing how it's actually done uh, this particular video is just uh, going over the dry unit um, you know just just kind of showing all the cool features that we have all right so i'm going to go ahead and turn on the pump and let me show you how quickly the vacuum pulse just making sure that you have to the, your drain valve closed your venting valve is closed we'll keep this valve closed for now we'll leave the vacuum valve open and watch this we will turn it on now look how fast it pulls the vacuum look at that five look at that in a couple of seconds you are already at 15 inches of mercury look at that so you can perform your test in just a couple of seconds you can perform your bubble leak test uh, it has a pretty fast throughput rate so if you have a good protocol you can perform a lot of vacuum bubble leak tests on this unit uh, because the, this pump is a 12 cfm um, rotary vane vacuum pump all right so um, let's also talk about our vacuum adjustment valve so in order to keep um, you, you can set up your vacuum adjustment valve to any vacuum set point that you need uh, and that is to um, help you essentially not worry about uh, you know you, you kind of set a standard vacuum so I'm going to turn on the vacuum pump one more time and close the venting valve and we're going to start pulling vacuum and let me show you something so as you turn this this is a bleed off valve so watch this you turn it and let's say we want to go to 15 right here oh we overshot a little bit that's okay here we go so we're going to go to 15 and we're going to leave it at 15. now let's say we'll vent it we turn it off and then let's close the venting valve again and now when we turn it off it is going to go to 15 inches of mercury hands-free so you never have to worry about uh, reaching your target vacuum again it just gets to 15 and you can just perform your test and you are good to go so you turn it off and let's rent the chamber so there you guys have it our standard ready to go fully assembled off the shelf um Senatron vacuum bubble leak testing system or vacuum heat seal integrity system um, if you guys have any questions if you guys have any comments make sure you like and subscribe and if you guys are looking to get one of our uh, vacuum uh, bubble leak testing systems feel free to 
give us a call or contact us or email us. All right. Thank you very much. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.